Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Bedford North Lawrence High School. My name is Aaron Harrell here with my father, Tom Harrell, and we're getting set here for two really good basketball games. Bedford North Lawrence hosts the Brownstown Braves tonight in uh, what looks to be a really, really good matchup uh, between the varsity teams and the uh, you know, I'm sure the JV game that's getting ready to start here in about three minutes will be as well. But, uh, Dad, did you have a good Friday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, didn't do a whole lot. That's okay. Yeah, I know. That I is... can't stay in the house forever. Yep, yeah, that's okay. But, again, hopefully everybody else had a great Friday. Looking forward to a um, really good weekend coming up here. Uh, the basketball lady, weekend. Yeah, the Lady Stars will be in action tomorrow uh, right here at Bedford North Lawrence High School as they face Evansville Central in the um, regional championship. That Their game will start at 7. There will be another regional championship at 4 p.m. That game is between Center Grove and Franklin. But uh, again, uh, those both of those games will be streamed on IHSAATV.org. So uh, you'll have to go over there. Those will not be on YouTube as they are the um, uh, IHSA tournament. So those will only be on IHSAATV.org if you are not coming. Uh, come on out early. Again, that first game uh, starts at 4. Doors will open at 3. So come on out, get a seat, and uh, get ready for two regional championships as this is a new uh, a new format they're doing this year. It's the, the old format, really, I think. I think the regional used to be in the middle of the week, not they didn't play it. I don't know. But anyways, come out tomorrow. The BNL Stars has two home games left here next Friday and then the 23rd, which is a Thursday, as they host New Albany next Friday. And then Jasper. Which, which is a big HHC yeah. matchup. But again, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. Got about 30 seconds here before. If you can, hit that subscribe button. Would love to have you subscribe to the channel. That way you do get notified every time we do go live or upload a new video. We do do highlights of each game about 24, 48 hours after the game. But again, the, the Lady Hoosiers. Hey, Terry, uh, yes. That, the answer to your question is yes, we will. But it will be on IHSAATV.org, not here on YouTube. And again, everybody, uh, for those Brownstown, Brownstown fans that are tuning in, uh, leave us a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. We always love to get a little bit uh, interactive with our uh, uh, chat here. We try to be as unbiased as we can. they're doing starting lineups here for the JV squad. Though there will be some names that uh, are numbers that we might need help with on the Brownstown side, just as they may not be on the roster that we have. So um, if there are some Brownstown uh, folks out there and we do get a name wrong, uh, please let us know. Hey, Chris, thanks for tuning in. Doing very well. 
And here we go. How about we get ready for some basketball? JV game. Here we go. And the Stars will control that first possession. Woodward over to Matson. Now to pick it. And nice play from the Stars to kick that one off. And Stars show pressure. I've seen that play before. Yeah, somewhere. yeah. Yeah, we've seen that play a lot. Girls run it. Boy, varsity yeah. runs it. And we will try to learn the names as quickly as possible. And there might be, again, some names that we don't know. That was number 12, which we don't have. <laughs> so if we well, have any Brownstown fans out there. If I look on the uh, varsity, it's Caden Gwynn. Gwynn. Yeah, but we're not sure if that's the right name or not. Nice pass to Ray. Matson back to pick it for three. He got it. <laughs> this one's off. We don't have a 30 either, so. Yeah, but I'm going to take the varsity. Sasser takes it all the way. With Woodward with the rebound. Back to Woodward from the corner. Yeah, that was Wheeler with that shot down here, if we go off of that name. Wheeler now. Don't have 22 either. Hutchison. Hutchison with the rebound. And again, if we got any of these names wrong, if the, we do have some Brownstown folks uh, watching, uh, please let us know. That was 32, Pendleton. We got that one right. Matson on the wing, back to pick it. Ray. Nice dish to Woodward and got it. Andrew, good point. Let me see if I can't do that real quick. Ray with the ball. Over to Woodward. Sasser back to Matson. Over to Pickett. Pickett for three. For three. He got it. Good job. Nice little shot fake. Drive and got that one. Wheeler. Hey, we got that one right. Yeah, we did. Ray with it. Oh. Boy, that was that a good was all, save. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Pick it with the drive. Nice pass inside. And one. Pendleton with the first foul. Wow. 
three on the way. I did not see a number. That was Sheffer, 24. 30. Wheeler. His first. That will stay with BNL basketball. Back to Ray. And rebound, Sheffer. Three on the way, rebound, Stars. Sasser. And that'll be Brown Sound basketball. Believe it or not, this has been the fastest quarter. It's pretty quick. Ever. Quite there. Good pass up to Woodward and got the two points. Ray with the steal. Do they count it? They do count it. At the end of one, Stars lead 18 to 10 over the Braves. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.
And welcome back here. Stars lead 18 to 10 after one. Again, want to thank everybody for tuning in. Again, Judy, thanks for tuning in. Zach, yes, it was a really good pass. Three, that was by 23. Covert. Covert. Tell you what, they got some shooters. Yeah, they do. So is varsity, so we're going <laughs> to yeah. figure out real quick. Yeah, we're going to figure out really quick here. Nice pass down to Matson. Tried the reverse, but got his own rebound. Sheffer, quick release, short. He shoots a knuckleball. Yeah. But it goes in. Ray with it at the top. Ritter's in for BNL. Looks like Ray will head to the line. We'll see who they call this one on. 24, maybe? Yep. Sheffer, yes. That's his first, team's third. Missed the first, Pickett will return. Woodward will take a break. And Garrison enters for Brownstown. And he got the second. And over and back call, I thought Ray touched that. But yeah. maybe he didn't. I'm not sure. I thought he did too. You'll see something that doesn't happen very often here at uh, Bedford North Lawrence. They've got the North Balcony Bleachers out tonight in preparation of uh, the big crowd tonight. And then obviously tomorrow hosting the two regionals. Sasser with the basket. Back to Garrison, nice shot fake. And that's gonna be an offensive foul on Garrison. Hey Zach, uh, game times for tomorrow is uh, Center Grove Franklin is at four. And then BNL Evansville Central is scheduled for seven. The reason for the long break or the three hours between games is because it is um, two regional championships, so the winning team from that four o'clock game will get the opportunity to celebrate and cut down nets as they always do during a championship. So they will be given time to do that tomorrow. Nice defense, but could not get finished there. Ritter with the rebound. Woodward for three, he got it. And we've got a timeout, Brownstown. Stars lead 26 13. 13. Yeah, this is a 30 second timeout, did they call? Like you said, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, they, they will have tickets available at the door tomorrow. They are $10. Uh, that will get you in both games. There's only one price, so $10 it is. So come on out tomorrow, whether you're supporting any of the teams, but uh, definitely come on out and support the Lady Stars. Show up early to get a good seat, right? Yeah, yeah you better. <laughs> Maddox Ray 
Not Maddox, his brother. What's his brother's name? McCall. McCall just showed up and brought a football friend with him because he was about the big dude, huh? Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, McCall played football at uh, IU. At IU, just uh, finished his senior season. Believe it or not. Oh, tough pass. Yep. Sasser could not handle the pass. Covert re enters for Brownstown. Nice block from Ritter. Matson with it. Drives, takes it all the way. Ooh. He was pretty close to that line. Yeah, he was, but he never. Nice block from Woodward. Kick out to Pickett for three. Long rebound. Matson now. Oh, right idea. Yeah, he right just idea. Didn't, just didn't roll. Yep. Didn't roll. <laughs> Sheffer with it now. Spin move. I'd say Matson got away with a little bit of a foul. Inside the Woodward, had to save it. Brownstown comes up with it. Three on the way, it's good by number 30. Wheeler. Wheeler. Oh, tough pass. Wheeler with the jumper. That should be Brownstown basketball. Yep. And it is. See, Bailey and Ray return for the Stars. Jumper 23, covert. That was just a two-pointer, wasn't it? Yep. Ray to Sasser. Bailey now inside to Sasser. And too far underneath the bucket. That's going to be a foul on Sasser. First team's first. Minute and a half to go. First half. Got a battle going in down, down low. And they moved the ball so well. They go in and out. They move without the ball. Yeah. Three on the way, short. Nice hustle. That was Pendleton. Three on the way. It's 23 over.
Looks like BNL may try to hold for one here. Should be an offensive foul on yeah, Ray. Yeah, still should be. Yeah, should have been. Should have been, but they come up with the points at halftime here of the JV game. Stars lead 30 to 21. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back after that really fast. It was fast. Really fast. 21 minute first half there. But again, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to take a little extended break here, probably uh, five or six minutes, and then we'll be back. Talk about the first half. Thanks for joining us. Acquired by Damon Bailey and Randy Hawkins in 2011, Resource Services is your one-stop shop for anything from janitorial to food service supplies. Resource Services specializes in K-12 education. We are the preferred vendor for the Indiana-approved shopping cooperative. We offer name brands with competitive pricing. Our staff is trained to help solve your issues and help save you money. We are located in Bedford, Indiana and service the entire state of Indiana, Kentucky, Southern Illinois, and parts of Tennessee. Give us a call today at 
And welcome back here to Bedford North Lawrence High School. As the Stars lead the Braves 30-21 to 21 at the half. And, hey, Paul, thanks for your comment. And, yeah, we, we saw a couple that should have been called on BNL, but uh, that, that was not. So, um, agree with your comment there. But... Uh, but we're up in the booth, so we can't. We don't really have a. Yeah, they don't say. give us a whistle. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But uh, you want to go over some scoring sure. stats here? Uh, for BNL, Matson with eight, Pickett with six, Sasser with two, Ray with four, and Woodward with ten for a total of thirty. Uh, for Brownstown Braves, Covert has eight, Sheffer has three, Pendleton three. Quinn with two, and Wheeler with five for a total of 21. Yeah, one, one thing I noticed is Brownstown moves the ball so well, and like you said, I think you said uh, they move th- without they move, the ball. They move so well without the ball as well. That's right. I mean, that's just uh, something you don't see a lot of these days, but uh, very impressive to watch. In, uh, and this is the JV game, so I expect and, to see that that's after, right. at the next game as well. And Foul-wise, there were only five fouls called in the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> or a whole half, I yeah, should say. Yeah, the whole say. half. So, so um, hopefully this will be quick. Half. Both teams stay out of foul trouble. And we'll see yeah. a good half ball before we come into the next game. Yeah, I'm sure some of those people that were going to try to get here at, right at 7.30 tip-off time, uh, they may want to get here a little bit earlier. Well, it's starting to fill up a little yes, bit. Yes, it is. Again, got the uh, north end zone balcony uh, open for the first time of the year. I'd say it had a little rust on it. It, it was a struggle <laughs> to get it open. I was over there with them, it, so it uh, it probably creaked a little bit because it hasn't been open in a long time. Yep. Uh, they are hosting uh, here at Bedford North Lawrence High School uh, two regionals tomorrow, uh, both 4A. Uh, the first game is at 4 p.m. That is between Center Grove and Franklin, and then the second regional championship is at 7 p.m. That will be with Bedford North Lawrence and Evansville Central. Again, that's at seven. Both games will be streamed on IHSATV.org. So if you want to watch those games, definitely um, tune in to those games tomorrow. But it looks to be like it's going to be BNL ball here to start the third quarter of this JV game. But again, definitely want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you can, hit that share button. Definitely hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. All it does is uh, it helps you get notified every time we do go live. That's right. There's Woodward over to Matson. Pick it now. A little more aggressive in the passing lanes on defense. Well, they can be with only five foul Paul Sasser got the two-point bucket. Sasser, yeah, I'm going to get yep. called on the foul there. That's two on Sasser. BNL's first for the half. Garrison with it. Ooh, about <laughs> did not see that one. Last minute. He wasn't expecting. Last second, yeah. Garrison. Oh, I thought that was off being L.
That's all the way down at the other end of the court. I can't. Yeah. Little man to man full court pressure for Brownstown. Nice pass down low to Matson. And I can't see their numbers. Nice hustle for the Braves. Not until they yeah, it should be, uh, turn around. Yep. Covert with it, kick out. Nice drive, and he will head to the line to shoot two. Pick it with the foul? I think so. Yes, number three. His first. Pendleton going the line for two. Missed the first. And That's got second, fair. yeah. Oh, it wasn't oh. there. Yep. Oh, but Sasser come up with it. Wrong team. I don't know how that happened. I'll fix that in a minute. That was a two by Covert. And we've got a timeout here on the. That's their first. So they got four left. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Brownstown probably just wanted to get their defense set here for the uh, pressure that's coming, but uh, Stars get it into Ritter. Almost had it stolen. Ooh, I'm not sure he traveled there, but Matson, nice spin move, got the layup. Too far underneath the basket to get that call. Take it for three. Got his own rebound. Wheeler, his second. Team's first for the half. Ritter with it. Matson now. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Brownstown basketball. That might have been B and L's ball. Yep, that's all right. Yep. That's gonna be a foul on Ritter. I think he'll go to the line too. His first team's third. Yeah, he will shoot two. 
Wheeler will shoot two. And he got the first. <laughs> got them both. And again, Brownstown shows pressure. Yeah, going to be a foul here. 23. It's been on covert. It's his first. Ray with the quick jumper. Garrison, step back three. He got it. Stars 30 second timeout. We'll take a break with them. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Sasser takes it, gets the two point bucket. He's pretty strong underneath when yes, he gets he small. Is. Really good and, race car driver. And he likes it. Is he? Yes, he is. And he likes to use the uh, chicken wing a lot. He likes to drive a race car, huh? Yep. Him and his brother. Did not know that. Inside the Sasser spin move. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it should be yeah, being out basketball. He just went yeah. the wrong direction. Yeah, pointed the wrong way. Ready with it. Going to be a foul on 34. 34. That's Owen Wishmeyer. That's his first. Team's third. That should have been a foul on Sasser. That's two of those. Yeah, he just it is. muscled it away from him. Yeah, I think Sasser gave him a push in the back on that one. Oh, oh good. couldn't handle it. Yeah, good pass. great pass. Garrison couldn't handle it. Just wasn't quite ready for it. Yep. Covert returns for Brownstown. Ray got the jumper. Yeah. 
We're going to call this foul on the floor. This will be 15 Woodward. Is that the fourth or fifth? That's fourth. Okay. That's what I got. And Woodward's first foul. Trying to get that ball. That's a double dribble, isn't it? <laughs> was it not? It was close. Yeah. I saw him getting ready to dribble, and I was like, oh, he can't do that. He's already dribbled it once. Pick it for three. At the end of three, Stars lead 44-29. We'll be back. And welcome back here. Quick three up, long. That's a Johnson in there that took that shot. Yeah, that's going to be a foul on. Charging? Offensive foul. Sasser? Yeah, I didn't see that one. That's his third. Team's fifth. Yep. Quick three up. Short picket rebound. Childs. That one Pendleton. Is that team foul number four? Yes. Pendleton second, Childs with two shots. Childs missed them both. In and out, great rebound and got it. I did not see the number on that. 14. 14, Garrison. Garrison.
cross court to Childs. Oh, and just lost it. Will be Brownstown basketball. Probably should have shot that one. Man, he should have shot. Yeah, should have tried shot to pass because that's two tight covert quarters. For three. Nice tip by Covert. Childs with the rebound or steal, sorry. And one for Childs. That's Wishmeyer's second foul, team fifth. Nice drive, kick out for three. Sasser with the rebound. Take it all the way. I didn't see who. Sasser about picked up number four. <laughs> right there, Garrison with the drive, kick out. 32 with the shot, that was Pendleton. Yeah, tipped out of bounds by Brownstown. Be an L ball. And another timeout here, I'm not sure who called this one. Must be B and L. Yeah, this will be a full timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. We'll be right back. Acquired by Damon Bailey and Randy Hawkins in 2011, Resource Services is your one-stop shop for anything from janitorial to food service supplies. Resource Services specializes in K through 12 education. We are the preferred vendor for the Indiana Approved Shopping Cooperative. We offer name brands with competitive pricing. Our staff is trained to help solve your issues and help save you money. We are located in Bedford, Indiana, and service the entire state of Indiana, Kentucky, Southern Illinois, and parts of Tennessee. Give us a call today at Welcome back. It is going to be uh, BNL basketball after their timeout. A little over four minutes to go in the yeah, game. Got a great crowd forming up here tonight. It's, they're moving in. Got both teams who are playing excellent ball right now. It's going to be a foul on 22. 22. We'll call that Hutchison. Right. That's her sixth. So next foul, you know, we'll be shooting. Nice pass inside the picket for two. Oh, they left him alone. That will send yeah. Pendleton to the line. Matson got his first foul. As a BNL six team foul. And so both teams will be shooting the rest of the way. Two shots for Pendleton. He got the first. 
Again, everybody, thanks for watching. Again, looking forward to game number two here tonight. And uh, we will have senior recognition for uh, band members. And then a 20 minute warm up. Oh, great steal by Garrison. Quick hands. And another timeout to uh, BNL here. Full timeout. We'll take another timeout with them. We'll be back. Here we go, 323 to go. Stars lead by 14. Both teams will be in the bonus on the next foul. Nice pass from Pickett to Sasser. Nice take, that was 23 covert. Ritter with it, he's gonna get fouled. Uh, 22. And so that Hutchison. means we will shoot the one and one. That's their seventh, Hutchison second. One and one. One and one. And he got the first. Got the second. Sasser with the steal. And one. For Sasser. Let's see who they call this one on. 22 again, maybe? Yes. It's his third. Got that three point play. Covert for three. Nice rebound, Sasser once again. That was Bailey with the take, Sasser with the rebound, gets his own rebound. Again. How about another one? Jump ball. Will be b &O basketball. And unload the bench here. Yep, everybody's coming out for Brownstown in 10, 34, 5, 3, and 20.
Might have to bear with us on these two. Yeah, we may not days. have all of them. That foul's going to be on 34 Wishmeyer. Yep, Owen Wishmeyer. His third. Team's ninth. Do the same. A little issue at the scores table. Thank you, Andy. Child's rebound. I've got 59. I did two on Sasser my, made I the two. first, yeah, Sasser made the first free yeah. throw. Child's was it? Uh, for Brownstown, number 20 is Trevor Braneman. And 33 is Jack Pace. That was Stigall. One minute to go. Not too far underneath the bucket yep. on that one. Pass. Taylor with the bucket. Number five is uh, Jackson Johnson for the Brownstown. Thanks for your help, uh, Andy. Oh, Andy. Did out. not, yep. And the Stars will dribble this one out. And the JV Stars get the win, 63-37. Again, stick around with us. We have senior night for the band members. So stick around for that. So we will let you enjoy senior night uh, for that, and then we'll be back uh, after that. First off, let's meet Morgan Isbro. Morgan's being escorted by Pearl Hobbs. Morgan's future plans to attend IV Tech for an associate's degree, then attend IU to receive a degree in library and science. Morgan Isbro. Next up is Auburn Eads, escorted by Laura and Troy Adams. Auburn's future plans are to attend Ivy Tech for general studies, then go to IUPUI to study music therapy. Auburn Eads. Our next singer is Austin Fleener. Austin is being escorted by Bonnie Brown. Austin's future plans are to attend Indiana State University and become a pilot. Austin Fleener. Next up, Chandler Turner, escorted by Zachary and Rosanna Turner. Chandler's future plans are to give back to the community through firefighting and emergency medical services. Chandler Turner. 
and our final senior tournament, Maya Zizak. Escorted by Angela and Tony Zizak. Maya's future plans are to work at Outpost Garden as an artist and someday to work at Walt Disney World. Seniors, we thank you for your hard work and dedication to the Night Out Cup Man and the band program. Ladies and gentlemen, your BL Band Senior. Congratulations to those seniors. Again, JB Stars get the win. Tonight, 63-37. We're gonna get everything set up here for the varsity matchup and then uh, we'll get started uh, talking about that game in just a little bit. But again, everybody, please share this stream out. We'd love to get uh, as many people watching this great game as possible. Again, definitely hit that uh, subscribe button. And we'll be back in just a few minutes.
and welcome to Bedford North Lawrence High School for a really good matchup tonight between the Bedford North Lawrence Stars and the Brownstown Braves. Again, looking forward to a really, really good matchup tonight. We've got about 17 minutes here before starting lineups and national anthem and all that good stuff. But uh, definitely want to wish the BNL Stars uh, cheer squad as they are in Orlando, Florida uh, this weekend competing at the national tournament down there. So definitely want to wish them good luck. Bring home that championship. Got a really packed house tonight. Uh, as you can see on your screen, got a good crowd on hand to see uh, this game along with uh, Brownstown Junior of uh, Jack Benter the Purdue uh, commit. But definitely thank you to everybody for tuning in. If you can, definitely hit that uh, subscribe button. take about a two or three minute break then we'll be back to talk about this one and our our uh, pregame thoughts everybody stick around Acquired by Damon Bailey and Randy Hawkins in 2011, Resource Services is your one-stop shop for anything from janitorial to food service supplies. Resource Services specializes in K-12 education. We are the preferred vendor for the Indiana-approved shopping cooperative. We offer name brands with competitive pricing. Our staff is trained to help solve your issues and help save you money. We are located in Bedford, Indiana and service the entire state of Indiana, Kentucky, Southern Illinois, and parts of Tennessee. Give us a call today at 812-275-4790. Founded by Randy Hawkins and Damon Bailey in 1994, Hawkins Bailey Warehouse is a full service distribution and fulfillment company with a focus on products pertaining to the heavy duty industry. Being centrally located in Bedford, Indiana, makes it possible for our sales and transportation teams to service Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois, and Ohio. Hawkins Bailey Warehouse stores and ships bulk and package products from many of the leading manufacturers in preventative maintenance supplies in the heavy-duty industry. Our product lines contain such highly regarded companies like Cummins Filtration, DA Lubricants, and Phillips 66 Lubricants. Feel free to call our office directly at 812-275-8888 and talk to one of our sales or service representatives and find out how Hawkins Bailey Warehouse can help your business today.
And welcome back here to Bedford North Lawrence Fieldhouse for the BNO Stars versus the Brownstown Braves. Again, want to welcome in everybody, whether you're a Stars fan, a Braves fan, or any fan. Thank you for tuning in. If you can, hit that subscribe button. Would love to have you subscribe to the channel. It is free to hit that button here on YouTube. But let's start talking about this one. Uh, my name is Aaron Harrell here with my father, Tom Harrell. And uh, we're going to have a good night tonight. We've got a good crowd inside here. Uh, this is an excellent crowd. An excellent I'm sure, crowd. I'm sure the, being the schools are very close together. You know, 20, 25 miles. That helps a little, that but I helps. think both teams are on a hot streak, too, so. Uh, yeah. Well, let's, what do you say? Let's just start talking about it. Go uh, ahead. Yeah, Bedford North Lawrence is on. Uh, they come into this one 13-5 and five on the year. They are on a seven-game win streak. Brownstown comes into this one ranked uh, number six in 2A. They are 14-4 and four on the year. They are coming in on a five-game win streak. Uh, last year, these two teams played. Uh, let's see, the score was 70 to 59. Uh, Jack Benter, uh, the Purdue commit, had 28 points. Colton Leach for the Stars had 31, and uh, Colton Staggs added 19 for the Stars. Uh, the coaches for these teams, uh, Dave Benter, 439 and 161 in 25 years at Brownstown. So been there, a great player at Hanover College. I think he holds a lot of records down there at Hanover. Uh, for, for the Stars, uh, Jeff Hine, he's in his fourth year here at Bedford North Lawrence. He is 53 and 38 and 348 and 244 overall in his career. But uh, before we get going in anything else, you just have any thoughts on this one I'm, we've got a Purdue commit only a junior so committed early to uh, to Purdue uh, it's going to be fun to watch him play tonight uh, yeah especially when he scored what 28 points last year as a sophomore yeah and already this year and, and he, he played on a Friday and Saturday I believe and scored 99 points between those two games had 51 games. and 48 in those two games broke a backboard already this year with a dunk and he's averaging 30 points yeah, per he's game. averaging 30 points a game so the stars got their hands full uh tonight but you know according to every to john harrell this is a uh gonna be a really good basketball game both teams playing extremely well I i'm sure they're both fundamentally sound because we know uh BNL is, and I've seen Brown Sound play in for the years past and years, years yeah. and years, and uh, they'll be fundamentally sound as well. Play good, hard nosed basketball. Yeah. Uh, well, one thing that uh, that Brownstown is, they are ranked third in the state in scoring. They are averaging about 71 points a game, but when you got somebody averaging 30. And then three other guys averaging at least 10. They're 60. So it's pretty easy to get to 70. Let's talk about the start. Let, let's, yeah, let's hold them to 50 and let's see how the chips fall. How's that? Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, it, we can't let them get out and run and control the game. Right. That's, you know, that's, that's yeah, one that's, thing. That's one thing that... Uh, the Stars are really good at They're good at controlling the ball, possessing the ball. But let's talk about the projected starters. Again, we don't know exactly the starters, but these are who we're guessing are as the starters. The uh, Brownstown Braves will go with a traditional set with two forwards, a center, and two guards. We'll start with the forwards. Uh, number 33, Chase Coomer. He's a 6'4 sophomore. He's averaging 10 points per game. Uh, Jacob Arthur, he's a 6'3 senior. He wears number 32. Uh, their center tonight, 6'7 uh, sophomore, Colby Hall. He wears number 34. And then they go with two guards, uh, which is a pretty good sized guard. Uh, he's yeah. taller than anybody that BNL has on their roster. Uh, Jack Benter. 
Uh, he's a guard at 6'5", junior, wears number 14. He is averaging 30 points per game. And then another guard, Parker Heyman, a 6'1", junior, wears number 10, and he is averaging 12 points per game. So really right there, the stars are way outmatched, or way outsized. Sized. Yeah. yeah. Not outmatched, but yeah. outsized. Outsized. As we normally are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stars are usually this way. Uh, the stars will start two forwards and three guards as, as to projection. That's what they started last game. At their forward positions, uh, Caden Bennett, he's a 6'2 senior, wears number four. Uh, another forward, Colton Leach, he's a 6'2 senior, wears number two. He's averaging 18 points per game. And then their three guard set, Colton Staggs, he's a six foot senior, wears number 22. Uh, another senior, uh, Trace Reinders, he's a 5'9 junior, sorry, and wears number one. And, and the final guard here is Noah Godlewski. He's a 5'8 junior, wears number 11, and he is averaging 11 points per game. Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing the <laughs> Stars are. Uh, yeah, go ahead. This will be one of those games that you should be here to watch it. Yeah. You, you can't really see how well each team plays yeah, until you come out live and yeah, watch think, them play. I think, uh, especially with, the, I think this will be one of the raucous crowds too. So, yeah, I think uh, Coach Callahan, the athletic director here at BNL, made the right choice, opened up the north balcony uh, tonight in preparation uh, for tomorrow, went ahead and opened it up to get set up for the regional tomorrow. But uh, the north balcony is pretty full <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tonight, along with all the other uh, bleachers as well. Uh, Zach here, he says, uh, double jack and make the rest of the team uh, beat you. That's what Zach- uh, What do you say? Zach Folk, he says, uh, double jack and make the rest of the team beat you. <laughs> That's uh, hey, you know, you never know what the well, what the coach unfortunately, has. you do that. There's other kids on here that can shoot the ball well. Yeah, Heyman, Heyman, I believe had 12, 12 threes, threes in uh, in a game earlier this year on the on the way to the um, Brown South hitting 22 threes in one game as well. I'm but sure I, Brownstown plays a pretty tough schedule. I don't know who the four teams are that. Uh, I know Jennings County beat them. Okay. And then. Um, yeah, Kyle Norman says here, uh, Parker Heyman hit 12 threes, which is a school record for Brownstown against uh, Charlestown. And uh, Coomer leads state in three point percentage. So again, that's uh, that's pretty good. So if you double team better, then you, you leave two guys open watch. that can make the threes. It'll be interesting. <laughs> you know, straight up is probably what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I think. Uh, you know, I'm going to guess. Uh, Caden Bennett will probably get the the first nod at him. I'm not sure, but yeah, he I'd might. say he's going to get Kobe Hall for sure. But you know, you just never know what Coach Hine has here. But uh, again, uh, well, what do you see your three keys are for for BNL here? Well, first and foremost, they better get on the boards. Yeah, yeah. Being outside like that, and especially on the defensive end, you can't let them get the offensive boards because they'll put it right back up and better. And uh, like our subscribers say, you got to limit Benter somehow, some way. If you limit him, try to control everybody else or let him have 30 points and hold the other five down. And then we have to honestly shoot the ball well. If we got open shots, we need to shoot it and hit them. And, and play good hard-nosed defense and take care of the ball. That's that's for BNL. What do you think about Brownstown? I think they've got to play just uh, use their size to their advantage, you know, get it inside out just like the JV squad did. I think that's one thing that uh, that the JV team did extremely well. 
They worked it inside out to get. The, I think that's why they lead the state. You know, you know, in that three point percentage there. And then uh, we'll get back to that as uh, we're going to pause here for uh, national anthem. But uh, an another key here that they've just got to play their game. You know, don't get caught up in the. Yeah, Andy. Uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to watch him play. This will be my first uh, first game getting to watch Jack play, and uh, looking forward to that. But uh, we've got a great crowd in here tonight, as you can see on your screen. But uh, we're going to uh, pause here for the national anthem, and then we'll be back for starting lineups. Respecting your teammates, coaches, opponents, spectators, and officials. You find them by always giving 100% and doing your best, but win or lose, handling the result in a positive way. This sportsmanship pledge was developed by the 2004 2005 Student Athletic Leadership Team here at Vienna. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please rise as we honor America with the BNF BNL Pep Band under the direction of Jimmy Jones playing our national anthem. And again, want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you are watching on Facebook, the BNL Stars Boys Basketball Facebook page, or on the BNL High School YouTube page, we are going to end those. Sorry, the BNL Stars uh, High School page. Uh, if you are watching on Facebook, please head on over to YouTube. That link is right there. We are going to end those streams right now. As they do their pregame sponsorships, again, just want to thank everybody. If you can, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have everybody subscribe to the channel. And the uh, second game ball sponsor here as we get set for. Hey, Allie, thanks for tuning in. Hey, Bo Miller, thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Have fun up there at the coaches clinic. Learn some stuff, bring it back for us. But uh, again, hey Grant Todd, watching from Disney World. Thanks for tuning in from Disney. And now, let's meet tonight's starting lineups. Here we go. At a guard, a six foot one junior. Number 10, Parker Heyman. At a guard, a six foot five junior. Number 14, Jack Binter. At a forward, a six foot three senior. Number 32, Jacob Arthur. At a guard, a six foot four sophomore. Number 33, Chase Toomer. And at center, a six foot six sophomore, number 34, Kobe Hall. And now let's meet your BNL stars. At a guard, a five foot nine junior, number one, Trace Rinder. At a forward, a six foot two senior, number two, Kobe Mooch. At a forward, a six foot two senior, number four, Junior number 11, 
What do you think, Aaron? Let's get ready for some Friday night basketball. Hopefully everybody's excited at home. Again, thanks so much for, for joining us. It will be Benter Leach to jump off on this one. Here we go. <laughs> he can't do that. He can't do that. You got to jump it over. It looks like it will be white ball. Yeah, so whoever, whoever, basket, yeah he can't grab it and pass right. it. He's got to tip it. He's got to tip it. They kind of got tangled up there, it looked like. Yep. So Stars. They get the ball after the Godlewski over to Stags. Inside to Bennett, nice shot fake. Ain't got the roll. Again, we will learn the names of the Brownstown players just as fast as possible. Benter. That was 34. Kobe Hall. Hall with that one. Rinders with it on the wing. Leach, kick out, Stags. So Benter is on Leach. Back to Stags. That's one thing I think the Stars are going to do tonight is be very patient, get the shots that they want, and that's Leach going to the bucket. Good offensive yeah, rebound yeah, there. Great offensive, that's one thing that the Stars are gonna have to do. Gotta get on the God ball. Left you. I think that's one player they will not let shoot. Reinders for three. And Benter will bring it up for Brownstown. Great pass. Got stags on Benner. And it looks like it's going to be a foul on Bennett. Bennett. Hall makes the first. Stags brings it up. Godlewski over to Leach. Yeah, I don't see uh, Brownstown extending that defense much no. past that three-point because of their Not size. Not at all. They don't uh, want BNL driving. Yeah. And that just shuts us off. Especially with the length that they have out there playing defense. Leach with the drive. And one. Calling them awful close. Of 
Colby's first foul. Leach missed the free throw. Heyman will walk it up. Got it to Bennett. Nice little spin move. Oh, that should have been a foul on uh, Reiners. Leach with the drive. Foul on Staggs. Yes. His first. Team second. Got a sub here. First sub of the game. This will be number 23, Carson Darledge. Heyman. Yeah, that's going to be a foul on 32, I believe. That is Jacob Arthur. This one might get a little rough tonight. I told you. No, I told Tim. Yeah. <laughs> this could get a little chippy towards the end, but it's starting out in the first quarter. Yeah. They always have had a good rivalry. Bennett for three. He got it. Benter with it. Spin move. Ain't going to get Staggs again on the foul. That's his second. Team's third. Yep, and Bailey. Is he going to shoot or was it on the floor? No, on the floor. On the floor. Venter with it out front. He's guarded by Leach now as Staggs goes out with two fouls. Fade away from Venter. Bennett rebound. Yeah, BNL is going to try to draw them out, get their defense extended. That way they can try to drive and kick what they want to do. Got the two shooters in the corners. Going to be a jump ball here. Will be Brownstown basketball. Hey, Wes, no, no, no broken backboards yet. But Let's if you'd like to donate, <laughs> they're $3,500 a piece. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen. We've got two regional championships here tomorrow. Inside the Benter. Nice defense by the Stars. Three on the way. And we've got a foul. Looks like a foul on Bailey. His first, team's fourth. Benter, crazy shot. Reiners with the rebound. Got a little tangled up up yeah, here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't see that, what happened there. Well, you don't want to see. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch that one again. Bennett over to Leach. Again, Leach is guarded by Benter. And he will head to the line. We'll see who they call this on. Coomer, they call that foul on. It's his first, team's third. So Leach to shoot two. Okay. 
Missed the second. Bent a rebound. Yeah, Andrew, I think uh, I think you're right. I think on both sides. I think they're getting a little, a little chippy, a little heated. Three up by Hall. Leach rebound. Bailey thought about it. So did Bennett. <laughs> they got her cocked, ready to yeah, go. Yeah, they do. Bailey for three, in and out. Heyman with the rebound. Benter, long three, he got it. Yeah, we feel the same way, Wes. Leach was outside. Got a nice looking shot if he wouldn't do the. Fadeaways. Yeah. And one for Benter. And he's tied this game back up. He will head back to the line, or sorry, to the line. Foul on Bailey, his second. Team's fifth. And, and he got there on a 6 0 run here for uh, the Braves. Reinders for three. It's good. I hate to say it, but you never know if they're coming down or not yeah. when he shoots. He has that a one, rainbow. That one went out of, out of my uh, rainbow. screen. Venter, step back three. Bennett for three. It's good. Thirty seconds to go here, quarter number one. Heyman, they're going to try to hold for one shot here. Yep, we're going to get the ball to Benter. Eight seconds. Almost went in for the stars there. End of one here from Bedford North Lawrence High School. Stars 16, Braves 11. We'll be right back. Acquired by Damon Bailey and Randy Hawkins in 2011, Resource Services is your one-stop shop for anything from janitorial to food service supplies. Resource Services specializes in K-12 education. We are the preferred vendor for the Indiana Approved Shopping Cooperative. We offer name brands with competitive pricing. Our staff is trained to help solve your issues and help save you money. We are located in Bedford, Indiana and service the entire state of Indiana, Kentucky, Southern Illinois, and parts of Tennessee. Give us a call today at 812-275-4790. And welcome back here. Going to be BNL basketball to start the second quarter. Pretty good first quarter. A little uh, rough excellent. at times, but excellent. But really good basketball. BNL with five fouls, Brownstown with three. They've got two players with two fouls each, Bailey and Staggs. Yeah. 
Stacks Stack, back yeah, in there. No, Stacks has been mm -hmm. on the bench. Jumper from Leach. And Venter will walk it up. Get it to Hall. Nice little reverse layup from yeah. Hall. Jones in for BNL. They've came back in a little rest. Leach is guarded by Darledge. Drive. Nice little tip back. Rinders for three. And oh. it got stuck. <laughs> Jump ball, so that will go to Brownstown. Brownstown. That goes by the arrow. Yeah. I'm sure they hate that. You know, that's always a tough one because you got the arrow and then. Mm -hmm. Adam Stahl comes in for Brownstown. Venter for three. In and out. And they're going to get Leach on the foul. His first team sixth. Two shots. Oh, they say he was shooting it on the rebound. Yep. Okay. So shooting two. And he got the first. And got the second. Hall returns for Brownstown. Bailey. Over to Godlewski. Rangers for three. Heyman walks it up. Hall now. Back to Heyman. Got it to Hall. Offensive foul. That's his second. Team is fourth. Colby Hall. And Bennett, I'm sorry, Staggs returns. Rinders will take a rest for the Stars. Leach with it. He's guarded by Benter now. Bennett, long three. Off the backboard, a little long. Banks open. Yeah. Extended hours on a Friday Heyman night. Heyman with it out front. Now Benter, guarded by Bailey. Three up. That board was by Stahl. Great board. He got in really good position. And we've got a timeout BNL. This will be a full timeout. We'll take a break with him. We'll be back.
and welcome back. Just want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in. Hopefully everyone is enjoying the stream. Leach, Bennett. Back to Leach. Leach. That'll be over and back. Yeah, I think one thing that uh, Colton Leach has to do is just go up strong, and I know they're a lot bigger and, and, and longer, but Benter with it, with the take and bucket. Stags, Heyman drives. Wow, what a block. block. Yeah, what, what a great defensive play by, by 30. Arthur. Yeah, 32. Straight yeah, up, Jacob both Arthur. arms up. Yeah. Didn't can't, reach. Can't Text, do it much better than that. Textbook. Textbook. Stars get it in. It's always a dangerous pass when they mm -hmm. go from underneath their bucket to behind the half court line. Staggs is guarded by Stahl. Leach for three, short. That may have been blocked. Benter with the drive. Yeah, that's, they're going to get uh, 32 here at the trip. Arthur, that's his second. Team's fifth. Make all that intentional. Yeah, they're definitely talking about it. It was Caden who got tripped, wasn't it? Yes. So they're definitely talking about this one. That one will be fun. They're going to call an intentional foul on 32 for the trip. So Bennett. Yeah, Bennett has to shoot the free throws. Yeah, it was definitely not a technical. Yeah, it wasn't a technical, so it was Bennett. That's when I'll have to go back and watch. Mm -hmm. So Bennett got the first. For those of you watching at home, you guys can uh, rewind and then catch back up here on YouTube. So, so Bennett gets them both, and it will be Stars basketball. Yeah, Paul, I didn't see it, so I can't really comment on it. Back to Bailey. Stags, he's guarded by Heyman. The drive. Oh, jump and ball. They call a jump ball. Uh oh. Yeah, now they're, now they're going to talk about this one again. <laughs> yeah, Jay, I didn't, I didn't see it. I'll have to go back and watch that. Uh... So, BNO basketball with the arrow possession.
Staggs with the, got it to Bailey. Heyman gets it to Benner. And gonna have an offensive foul here on 23 on the screen from Darledge. Kinda threw his shoulder out here a little. Six team foul on both teams. Yeah, so next foul, both teams will be shooting. Bailey now. Leach, Staggs. Uh, they could have got Bennett on that moving yeah, screen down low. You too. saw it too. Yeah. yeah. He just stuck his chest and kept walking. Stags out front. Two minutes, two minutes to go here, second quarter. Bailey drives. And he will head to the line. That foul was on what? Uh, Stall 40. 44. That's the seventh. So BNL will shoot one and one. Well, both teams will shoot yeah, one and one. Yeah, both teams will shoot one and one. Misses first I'm shot. Put that on. Trying to get my board fixed here. Bailey misses them both. Those will be huge down the stretch. Benter, nice drive and take, but gets his own rebound and puts it back up. And it looks like we're gonna have a warning here. Letting the ball drop after the bucket. Yeah. Yeah, just a warning. Delay a game warning. Hey, Andy, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch where they got tangled up there. Andy says it uh, looks like they just got tangled up, not intentional. Leach over to Stags. Cross court to Bennett, back to Leach. One minute to go here. Stags with it. Brownstown might just let them, or they're going to switch up to a 2 1 2 here. A little trapping yeah, zone. A little trapping zone. And it, oh, caused, and it, got yeah, it. it caused that turnover. Heyman got it back to Benner. And what'd they call it? Charging foul on Benner. I don't agree with that. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if Benner was there. You got to give him room to come down after he got the ball. Yeah. Yeah. 22 seconds here. Is that his first foul? Benish? Yes. Yeah. Got to get across the timeline, guys. And the Brownstown uh, faithful is uh, not happy with that call. Probably the last couple calls. That's Krumer. So we got a one and one. Yeah, one and one for Benter. No, for Bennett. Oh, uh, sorry, Bennett. Sorry. Bennett got the first. Ah! 
Got them both. So seven seconds to go. Venter with it. Fade away three. The Stars fans wanted a foul. At the end of the first half, Stars lead 22-21 in a really good, uh, really good basketball game so far. Again, can't thank all of you out there that are watching right now enough. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have everyone subscribe. Get that scoreboard set up here for that third quarter. And then we will watch the halftime performance here by the Lady Stars Dance Force. Good morning. And great job to the Lady Stars Dance Force. Now it's time for Chuck a Duck, I believe. Here. Now we've got some uh, special going on on the um, floor right now as the special presentation this evening. Last May, the BNL Unified Track and Field Team had an incredible spring. Championships included the regional conference, the IHSAA sectional and regional, and the season was capped off on June 4th with the school's first IHSAA state championship in Unified Track and Field. Julie Bartley, Samantha Beal, Colton Cruz, Gunnar Connington, Maddie Crane, Jessalyn Fisher, Brax Huber, Braxton Johnson, Chris Kunkel, Tori Logston, Philip Madsen, Alex Newby, Tanner Robbins, Ethan Robinson, Ryman Sheely, Harley Tanksley. And the coaches this year, assistant coach John Epping, assistant coach Lori Branham, head coach Mike Branham, principal Jordan Key, athletic director Jeff Callahan. Congratulations to all on the unified track and field state champion. Definitely want to say congratulations to the unified track and field team. They just got their state championship rings. So definitely congratulations to them and their hard work last spring.
Now it's time for fan favorite Chuck a Duck here at uh, BNL. Look at all the kids down there tonight. Chuck a duck. All right, we're going to take a break here. We'll be back in just a few uh, minutes. Thank you so much for joining us.